Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and I'm going to be doing a little look for you today, something summery, sort of transitional from kind of summer towards fall. I think the eye I'm going to be doing is something that could definitely take you through into fall, um, but I'm going to summerify it with a brighter lip. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I've already filmed this video, I did this look a couple of days ago, but then I got a haircut, and I was looking at the footage, and I was like, ugh probably should do it again just because my hair looked heinous before the cut. So anyways, I'm just gonna do it again for you. It's really quick, simple, and I hope you like it. So I just got home from work, so I do have a little bit of makeup on. Definitely brows, a little bit of base, a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna amp everything up and kind of touch up everything before I'm moving on to the eyes. For concealer, I'm so sorry, y'all are probably so bored of this, but this is the Maybelline brightening concealer. I don't know what it's called because all the words have rubbed off and I'm just popping a little bit of that around my eye area, under my nose, top lip, between the brows, and on my chin a little bit. And on this blemish. And on these blemishes. Then I'm taking my Real Techniques setting brush and just really buffing that in. This concealer looks so natural on the skin. It's so sheer. But it does, I think, give enough coverage for my dark circles. And I think my dark circles, uh, they're not the darkest dark circles, but they're not the lightest dark circles either. You'll probably recognize like almost all the makeup I'm using today to kind of touch up my base because it's all in my most recent video because it's all the products that are in my everyday makeup bag right now. And that's pretty much what I like to touch up with. So next I'm taking my Chanel Le Beige powder and just hitting all of those areas where I just add a little bit of concealer as well as any areas that have picked up a little bit of shine throughout the day. Probably should have touched up my cream blush and highlighter before I pop that powder on, but YOLO, no rules. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the Tata Harper cream blush in the shade Very Popular right onto the apples of my cheeks, blend sort of with my fingers, but then going back to my Real Techniques brush and just making sure that is seamless with the skin. And that blended surprisingly well over the powder. Good to know. I just want the skin to look ultra fresh and glowy, glossy, um, you know, that just back from the beach kind of look. And I'm using the Very Highlighting also from Tata Harper. I am self-tanned right now, so I probably don't need this, but I am going to pop on just a little bit of the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze, and I am blah, 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 Invisible Bronze, and I use the shade Fair to Light, and I'm just going to take that over the high points. I think I'm going to leave my brows alone because they're already filled in from the day, so I'm going to move right onto my eyes. I'm starting out with a cream shadow stick in a waterproof formula. I've been so obsessed with cream shadow sticks recently. They're just so they're just so simple and easy to use. This one is sort of a taupey gray brown color and I am taking that all the way over and under around my eye up through the natural socket line and then just taking my finger to blend that out. And these types of shadow sticks are just so dimensional. You could really leave it there. You could add something over top of it. You could add a crease color. You can kind of do whatever you want and they make a really good base because they're waterproof. One change I am making from the original video, I used a pencil liner and it was a little bit too blendy, if that's possible for me. I kind of wanted the liner to be blended, but I wanted it to sort of be a little bit more of a statement. Um, so today I'm gonna be using a gel liner. This is the L'Oreal Espresso Lacquer Liner 24 Hour. I'm taking that on a very, very, very fine pointed brush and I'm going to get up close and personal with my mirror and really tightly get this all the way deep into the lash line. And of course, slightly thickening this up as it goes along. And I'm gonna trace that all the way along the lower lash line. I'm not gonna pull this in a straight line because I don't want it to look so sharp. I'm almost using the point of this brush and sort of pressing it between the lashes as I move along. Make sure that's connected around the outer corner and then sort of from underneath pull up and back in. I'm gonna give that a minute to set while I do the other eye before I go back and blend it. I think this is where I made the mistake last time is I just put the pencil liner on and went and blended it and it got almost lost. It looked almost like I didn't end up lining. So I think giving it a little bit of time to set before going right into blending will allow it to um, kind of 
stay where I put it, but I should get back to it in enough time that the edge of it will just soften when I blend. All right, now that side's on, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my brush over to the blending side and just start to soften that liner. And because it's set, it's not gonna blend away into absolute nothingness this time. And then where I've sort of winged it out, just use the brush to kind of exaggerate that shape a little bit. And once you're satisfied with your blending, we're just going to amp it up another notch. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow in the shade Diamond Dog. This is like a brownie, silver, very interesting, unique color. And I'm just going to use my fingertip and tap it over top of the mobile lid to help blend the liner into the shadow just a little bit more. And because we have that cream shadow underneath acting as a base, it's gonna catch all the glitter so there's not gonna be any fall down. And take a fluffy brush and blend out the edge. I'm gonna use the small side of my liner brush and just tap a little bit underneath just to tie the whole look together. The color you choose for mascara is totally up to you. Black would be beautiful, defining, and dramatic with this look. But of course, I'm gonna keep it with my espresso dark brown theme and go with my Definisils from Lancome in the shade dark brown. And I am going to really wiggle this right into the roots to make sure it is nice and thick at the root and then pull it through. I've already curled my lashes, by the way. Those are the eyes done. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. This is like exactly like my go-to grungy, glamorous, sexy, smoky eye. Um, and you could totally let that be your focus and go with a nude lip, which I think is the obvious choice for this look. But it's summer and I kind of want to transition myself before going full fall. And I'm actually going to go with a bright, 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 bright pink. And this is the Lancome Matte Shaker in Yummy Pink, which is exactly that. It's sort of like a neon matte liquid lipstick. And this one is more of like a liquid lipstick stain. Uh, but you can layer it up for full pigment. And this one is very bright pink. But when you first get it on the lips, it's not going to be quite so intense. I think you all know I'm not the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks, but I absolutely love this one. I love the applicator because it's so... It looks like it would be weird to apply a full pigment lip product with because it's not as precise um, or pointed as some liquid lipstick applicators and it's very chubby, but it just hugs the curve of your lip. Like, I didn't use any lip liner and it just... I don't know how it does it. I also find this one to be significantly less drying, but just as long wearing as many of the other really high-end, really um, popular brands of liquid lipstick. You only live once. I know it's a general rule to kind of choose one or the other, but every once in a while can step out of bounds. It's the end of summer. You might as well get a little crazy. Um, definitely not a back to school look. I'll try and get a back to school look up here for you in the next coming week or so. Something a little more wearable, easy peasy, something um, pretty neutral that would look good on almost anyone. And yeah, let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions or questions about that, please throw that in the comments box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you did. Make sure you check out the description box because all the products that I use today are going to be listed in there for you. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe now. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.